Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta and welcome to this amazing series of Quant 200. Now today in this session we are going to discuss a question from profit, loss and discount. If you have not tried this question before, then try it, then check the solution. It says Rahul invested in a combination of red and blue shirts. He bought the red shirt at 900 rupees each and blue shirts at 200 rupees each. After marking up each shirt by 25% of the average cost, he offered a 10% discount on the mark price. Rahul earned a total profit of 54,000 from selling all the shirts. If he purchased both colors of shirts, what is the minimum possible total number of shirts he could have bought? So first of all, what do we know about the relation between cost price, mark price and selling price? So if markup is applied on cost price, then we are getting mark price. If discount is applied on selling on mark price, then we are getting selling price. And result of these two is a profit percentage. So what we can say, the profit percentage will always be successive of these two. And in case of successive, markup is positive and discount is negative. So this will be the formula that you can use to find profit percentage if markup and discount both are given. So what we can say, the markup percentage on each shot is 25% of the average cost. So on total price of all the blue shirts and red shirts, we can say the markup is 25%. And then again, discount is also on 10%. So total discount is 10%. What we can say, the profit percentage will be 25 minus 10 minus 25 into 10 upon 100. Right? So 10, 0 cancelled out. This will be 15 minus 2.5. That is equal to 12.5%. And what is 12.5? 12.5 is nothing but 1 by 8. 12.5 is nothing but 1 by 8. So the profit, total profit is nothing but 1 by 8th of total cost price. Right? Now, if number of red shirts is R and number of blue shirts is B, what will be the total cost price? Can I say it will be 900 R plus 1200 B. This will be our total cost price. And 1 by 8th of this will be equal to total profit value. Right? 12.5% of this or 1 by 8th of this. So we can say that 900 R plus 1200B should be equal to 8 into 54,000. Or if we divide by 300 on both sides, what do we get? This will be 3R plus 4B is equal to 8 into 18, so 1440. Now it says, what is the minimum possible total number of shirts he could have bought? So what we can say that the coefficient of B is 4, coefficient of R is 3, minimum number of shirts A plus B, what do we want? R plus B minimum, that is only possible when we take maximum value of B, right? Because the coefficient of B is 4 and it's bigger than the coefficient of R. So if I want to maximize the value of B, what we can say? B will be equal to 1440 minus 3R upon 4. That means we need to make this 3R as a multiple of 4, right? And uh, then only we can get integer value. Because 1440 is a multiple of 4. If I want to make 3R as a multiple of 4, R minimum that we should take is 4. And in that case, B will be equal to 1440 minus 12 upon 4. And that is equal to, so 360 minus 3, it will be 357, correct? 1440 by 4 is 360 minus 3, 357. So the minimum value of R plus B 
will be equal to 4 plus 357 which is equal to 361 and that's our answer thank you